just because of the way I acted and the things that I said and did and the way it was put together, I was my worst time. And I don't blame anyone that thought bad of me because of those two movies. And if I have to stand up for the past 14, 15 years and take the hits, if I gotta be the scapegoat for all those years, so be it. If that keeps it in the limelight, and that keeps this case in front, and it helps bring freedom to three innocent men, I'll keep fighting and standing out front. I know I'm innocent, and I know the truth, but I'll keep taking the hits, and if I had to do it all over again, I'd do it again, because I will not back up or stop for justice for three men in prison and three little eight-year-old babies that are in prison. My son, Stephen Michael, deserved better. And I'm going to do all I can in my power to give him better. These men in this courtroom seem like they want to give up. And I'm grateful for them. But I take all the hits, all the cussing, all the crap that I've taken through the years, I take it over again. If it ends up in the health of the rest of the world. So that's like but someone did do it, and we had to have an assessment. Now, that's all I can say. You were a recent all right, an assessment. Not that you were guilty, but you were a suspect based on the fact that there was a limited amount of evidence and the fact that it looked like a child with a of homicide, and none of the parents were investigated during the injuries. Wait a minute, I was more investigated than any place, any person on the planet. The FBI investigated me, several police departments investigated me, several private investigators investigated me. That's the only place I differ with you. I have been looked at or investigated for the past 17 years more than anybody on this planet. I know what it feels like to be accused wrongly. That's why I'm not going Hobbs under the bus. I'm going to drive the bus and back that bastard back and forth over him because I know he's guilty. And I'm going to stay on top of him. I know what he's like. Because, again, from my perspective, I still say he's... He has no alibi. His DNA was found there. His uh, best buddy, who's Jacoby's alibi, falls totally apart and contradicts himself. The man has told three different versions with a camcorder going and has told three different stories. He can't even keep his own lie straight. If you're going to make up a lie, at least keep it straight. <laughs> there's more evidence against him than there ever was against the West Memphis Three, and there's zero evidence against me other than my actions. Well, you're going